In this video, we'll look at the calculation of the market adjusted costs, where we would adjust the arrival costs by isolating or removing the effect of the general market movement on the arrival costs. So we have a fund manager who executes a buy order of 30,000 shares at an average price of $28.30, and the stock has a beta of 1.4. When the order entered the market, the arrival price was $27.50, and the index price was $8,240. The index VWAP over the trade horizon was $8,364. Calculate the market adjusted cost of trade in basis points. So before we start with the calculation, let us put the prices on the timeline so we have uh, two events here okay one would be the point where the order enters the market and of course up to the point where the order is executed we have the share okay where the arrival price is $27.50 okay and then it goes all the way up to the execution price which is $28.30 and for the index okay uh, we will measure the index arrival price which is $8,240 this is measured at the point where the order enters the market and the index VWAP would be 8,364. Then uh, we will first start by calculating the arrival cost, which is the site multiplied by the execution price minus the arrival price over the arrival price and then we multiply by 10,000 basis points. So the site will be positive one because this is a buy order and then we'll substitute the numbers in and then we'll get 290.91 basis points. Okay, in other words, uh, when you have a positive arrival cost, uh, it means that uh, the trader actually underperform in terms of execution, okay, because uh, they bought at a much higher price compared to the arrival price. So there was uh, some form of delay there, okay? So that could be due to market volatility, okay? Or that could be due to, let's say, a poor choice of algorithm, in terms of execution now what about the index cost so the index cost would also be the site then we multiply by the index VWAP minus the index arrival price over the index arrival price multiplied by 10,000 basis points okay so we'll substitute the numbers in again we are trying to measure the uh, the, the index okay cost uh, by using the same alignment as the share if you look at if you compare this with the arrival cost okay and here we'll get 150.49 basis points so in other words during the same period okay over that same trading uh trade horizon the index has uh, appreciated or went up by 150.49 basis points so in a way the market did contribute a bit to the arrival cost okay so without that index cost or without the general market movement what would the arrival cost be so this is where it gets to that market adjusted cost. We will take the arrival cost, then we'll minus the stock beta, multiply by the index cost. So we'll substitute the arrival cost and the index cost and the beta. And if you take the 1.4 multiplied by 150.49, we'll get 210.69. So in other words, what this is trying to say is that if you remove the effect of the general market movement on the stock, okay, the arrival cost would have been lower by 210.69 basis points so in fact the trader would have a better performance relatively without the effect of the market movement okay even though of course in absolute terms 80.22 is still considered an underperformance because it's a positive uh, uh, cost to it okay but without the market movement okay they would, uh, the trader would have fared better now, if the beta times the index cost is large enough, the market adjusted cost can even become a negative number, Okay, which would be a good thing, which, which, which uh, tells us that the trader would have even outperformed okay, if, let's say, the index cost was large enough. Now, next, let's look at the sell order. So now a fund manager executes a sell order of 40,000 shares at an average price of 41.7, uh, and the stock has a beta of 1.2. When the order entered the market, the arrival price was $42.40 and the index price was $5,360. Uh, and over the trade horizon, the index VWAP is $5,430. So we'll also calculate the market adjusted cost of trade for the sell order. So for the shares, uh, the, in, the arrival price is uh, $42.40 and the execution price is $41.70. So they sold the shares at a lower price. 
And at the same time, the index actually appreciated from 5360 to 5430. So now we'll repeat the same process. Uh, we'll have the arrival cost, but this time the side would be negative one because this is a sell order. Okay, you have 41.7 minus 42.4 over 42.4 times 10,000 basis points. Now, in this case, you get a positive 165.09 basis points. Okay, so in terms of uh, the arrival cost, uh, there was a gap between the arrival and the execution, and this is seen to be underperformance because you sold the shares at a price lower than the arrival price. Now, over the same period for the index costs, uh, we will substitute negative one for the site as well because this is a sell order and we'll take the change in the index value. Okay, and then we multiply by 10,000 basis points. We'll get a negative 130.6 basis points. So that means uh, over that period, okay, because the market was up. So generally, the shares should have been sold at a higher price. Okay, because the market is 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 uh, in a way trending upwards, but in this case, the share was sold at a lower price. So if we attempt to calculate the market adjusted cost, the arrival cost, which is one hundred sixty five point zero nine minus one point two, the stock beta times negative one hundred thirty point six. So for the second term, this becomes a positive one hundred fifty six point seven two, uh, which means that if we had taken out the effect of the market movement on the stock, the arrival cost would have been higher by 156.72 basis points. And after adjustment, this becomes 321.81 basis points. So if the market had not gone up, if the market had not gone up, if we were to take out that portion, the trader would have performed even worse. Okay, they would, they would have a much, much higher arrival cost after adjusting for the uh, market factor.